Hello! Hollow Voices here again. And uh, just showing off something new, I've, something else I've been working on a little bit. I'm trying to expand upon the uh, mass drive uh, mechanics. The way I've got this set up is where you've got the ship built completely around it, say, like a flying saucer or whatever. And within it is the mass drive, but the mass drive can spin on one axis and two axes. Three if you count the ship? I don't know. Science. I know nothing. Uh, so basically you should be able to fly around and steer the ship without actually changing the direction the ship is facing. Alright, so I've got all the rotors turned off so that they can move freely. I've got everything tied into uh, control groups. And I've got the cockpit right in the center. I've got a... Uh, I tried to get the uh, center of gravity as best as I could. It's fairly close. Close enough, probably. Uh... See, I... The only problem... Hmm, that's a bit of a problem there. Let me make sure I've got these off. Uh... Tch -tch -tch, rotors, rotors... All the rotors. Off. There we go. Now we got free play up, down, left, right. Alright, so because I'm able to change the direction pretty quickly on the uh, mass drive, hopefully I should be able to uh, reverse the whole thing really quickly. Uh, make sure... Okay, dampers are off. Heck, I'll go ahead and cut the engines. Don't need them. Uh, mass is on. And power! Oh, seems to be working. Ship's out, the uh, outer hull is actually rotating a bit. Haha, <laughs> it's kind of cool. Alright. Change the direction a little bit. Oh! My uh, bottom rotor t completely snapped off. That's uh, kind of lame. Steer around these asteroids a little bit. Uh, this is working pretty good. And you see I'm going 136 and I'm actually really maneuverable. A lot more maneuverable than I thought I was going to be. And the ship is still facing pretty much, for the most part, the same direction. It's changing a little bit. It's not perfect. I can see when I turn up the whole thing will actually turn up with it. That's probably got something to do with the uh, mass of the other blocks. Er, a little close there. There we go. Around and around we go. I wonder if there's a way I can fix that where it's not going to snap off the bottom. Like, it's pretty annoying. Surprisingly, going a much better than I expected it to. I was actually expecting the whole thing to just blow up on me. Okay, let's do a quick turn. Quick turn! That was not very quick! Oh, wow. Awesome. I just narrowly dodged that. Alright, uh... Alright, let's do a really, really quick turn here. Quick, 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 quick. Uh, mouse can only travel so far. There's not enough uh, free play in the, uh, in it. All the way up and down. <laughs> oh, man. There's, oh. There's uh, a lot of failures that I had trying to put this together.
Oh man, I gotta... Oops. <laughs> well, I am glad to see that it actually works. Where did I crash at? Back here? Yep, oh, there's debris. That's where I crashed at. So yeah, it actually works. It All it really needs is a... Uh, oh wow, I took out a huge chunk of this. So all I really need to do is add an actual shell to it. Alright, so taking a look over here. Yeah, these are the older versions of it. As you can see, it didn't really work out very well. This was uh, me putting uh, the whole thing together. This was uh, the main test of uh, make sure that it worked as uh, from the center, which it did. So I actually think I might be able to weaponize this into some sort of uh, a really cool little energy deflective shield or uh, not def energy, uh, but uh, you know a mass gravity shield or a uh, projectile weapon. Alright. Well, I guess that's it. I kind of wrecked the darn thing, unfortunately, but you can see from how well it went that it went a lot better than it should have, I think. Alright, see you next time. Alright, wrong button. There we go. Goodbye.